Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is Pool Shark Wizard and today guys we are back playing some Feed the Beast on the Block Party server. Um, today I was watching one of uh, B00 and Generic B's uh, B team videos and they did this really cool killing mechanism for the cows. So that's kind of what we are going to be talking about. This thing right here, it's called the High Energy Pellet Launcher. Recipe is extremely simple. Never knew a recipe could be so easy. I mean, it's very cheap. Four iron, two pieces of gold, piece of redstone, put them together. Boom, you have this, this bad boy. And then we also have a uh, catcher here too as well. And basically what the catcher will do, um, will catch the pellet that shoots out of this out of the pellet launcher and it's just definitely it's pretty cool it's a cool little setup I'm gonna go over to the uh, village and show you guys how this is done but for the c catcher very simple as well two pieces of obsidian couple of pieces of iron couple of pieces of gold and another piece of redstone super simple super cheap um, and it's uh, definitely cool it gets some it definitely has a very high uh, entertainment fact so Right now, we are going to cruise on over. Let's just make sure. Um, let's see. Yep, still daytime. So let's cruise over to where I have um, a starting cow farm uh, set up. And um, I tried recording this, um, the actual cow farm part, a couple of weeks ago. But my, and that's why I didn't have a Sunday video out then because uh, the file basically got corrupted. So um, I built this feeder right here and we can open up the recipe of that real quick. I just wanna jump out of here um, so we don't get mobbed by cows and that sort of thing. So let's open up inventory and let's take a look at the feeder. I think it's just called a feeder. Yep, right here. So the recipe, it takes uh, four golden carrots, then it takes a steel plate um, you have to use a rolling machine uh, for the steel plate that uses some steel ingots. So uh, luckily a couple of um, uh, one of my um, friends Alice on here, she um, basically hooked. I tried finding a rolling machine, couldn't find one, had the steel ingots and all that sort of thing. But she actually had a leftover feeder, so um, basically gave it to me. So that thank you very much for that, Alice. I appreciate it. And basically what it does is the feeder, if you put hay inside here or carrots or whatever you'd like then the uh, animals will eat that and then they'll basically breed themselves so you don't have to sit here and breed the animals together but you have to be careful because if you have too many of them in there um, because they'll just keep on they'll just keep on breeding and then uh, you'll have a ton of animals and that sort of thing but I've already kind of set this up a little bit because we are gonna be talking about uh, the higher energy pellet uh, launcher and also the catcher very simple to make like I mentioned and it's uh, pretty easy to get out of the way cow pretty easy to place down so I've already set this up basically looked right at the uh, cobblestone block there have it pointing this way and then directly across I threw down a catcher you don't necessarily need the catcher um, because when the pellet actually hits another block of some sort it will just bounce back but basically what the catcher will do is it will continuously um, bounce it back and forth because if you're just hitting a regular block then eventually that uh, pellet will just kind of disappear for the most part then to um, also to get this thing to work and like I said it's high entertainment uh, you just use a button I just used a basically a piece of birch wood placed it right in there that gave me a button so you don't have to use the smooth stone type of buttons or anything like that you can just make a simple button out of a wood plank and all you gotta do is when you click it like that <laughs> it basically shoots out this little orb type thing and any creatures that are in its, in its way if they're in the way it will um, it will kill them pretty much and as you guys saw that little orb basically kind of stayed in the catcher now when we shoot another one if it can make it all the way back it'll just keep on bouncing back and forth until uh, one of the cows basically goes right in front of it and uh, gets nailed by it so it's definitely a cool little 
uh, gadget, and it's and it's pretty it's pretty funny. It's it's definitely has a a nice humorous touch to it. And we're I'm gonna hit a cow, so it will get in the way. Hit that cow. There we go. <laughs> and it just it blows up the cows. So it is definitely funny. It's a very cheap uh, recipe, and it is a lot of fun. It is just you can just sit here. If you have a imagine if you had a ton of cows, right? You just shoot one. I mean, you don't have to worry about powering it or anything like that. There we go. We get another one. <laughs> you just place a button to hook it up, and it's uh, definitely funny. So now that I've taken out uh, some of those guys, um, we need to get some more cows uh, rolling in here. So I'm going to open up my canvas bag because I believe I still have some wheat in there. I do. So I'll probably just take like a half a stack. Ooh, didn't want to get rid of that. Let me pick up my canvas bag again. But basically all you, all you do is when you walk over to the feeder, you just place the wheat in there. So you can place the, the wheat, and then right there the cows will automatically breed. So um, as long as there is wheat in here, um, they will continuously uh, breed. So um, along with that, I believe I have some carrots. If I don't, I can just cruise right over to um, the little farm that I ha that's set up over there. Yep, we do have some carrots in here, and I believe the pit. Oh, don't don't do that! Don't do that! Get away! Get away! <laughs> so if I just take out the uh, wheat, this is the first time I've tried it with carrots, so we're gonna see if that works. And sure enough, it does. So right there, the pigs are already uh, having happy happy times, and uh, there will soon be a little one running around. So it's uh, it's definitely cool. There's a little guy. And then this this will continue so you can basically put any of the food in here so for the pigs it's the carrots for the cows it's um the wheat and then so on and so forth um i could look up what the other ones are can i open this thing up get out of the way pig get out of the way there we go so now i'm just going to throw wheat back in there and then uh because we want the cows to basically breed and have some more um, little guys running around so it already used up those two carrots and as you guys can see we got a couple of little pigs hanging out so I'm gonna somehow have to get that pig over on the other side shouldn't be too tough but now we're gonna cruise back to the uh, main base and uh, we're gonna continue on from there so we'll take my little shortcut that I've made here and uh, cruise back so we can take a quick nap but I'm going to take a break in the recording here, guys, and then we will continue on. So hang tight, folks. Hey, guys, we are back, and our second load is going to be coming pretty shortly. I just saw as the turtle was uh, heading back up to the surface, so there we go. Got some cobblestone, some smooth stone, some more quartz, emeralds maybe, and all kinds of goodies. So we'll uh, we'll have to see... We'll have to see everything that uh, it, it caught on that little trip, so let's first go check out over here. Uh, looks like we got some silver ore. Um, I originally thought that was diamond, but I guess it's silver, which is kind of a bummer when I was looking at a distance. But it looks like we got some vis shards. Um, we got a cut well, green sapphires, okay. They weren't emeralds, I uh, misspoke there. Some more aluminum ore. And some more quartz and some more red hey guys we are back and I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip that clip was um, I think that was a few days ago when I was first testing out my turtles just to see how well it was working and as I mentioned in there um, one of the one of the areas was a lot more plentiful of good ores than the other one but uh, one some of the issues that I came across when I was doing all that is there were th items that were being spit over spit out over here so I'm not sure if it happened between the macerator and the electric furnace but I might have to reconfigure this um, some more at a later time just to figure out that little area maybe I can incorporate a um, oh what the heck do what is it called uh, I have one made right here a hopper maybe I can incorporate a hopper or something in there so this might be updated at a later date but um, basically kinda what I was thinking about here guys was the uh, the ways that the turtles operate are just awesome. This side was a lot more plentiful of uh, the rare items. So if I can just kind of tap 
a little bit hopefully it won't be too jumpy but we have some copper there as you guys can see um, that might be appetite possibly um, we got some zycorium probably that's what I'm guessing that is we got some more sapphire we got some more green sapphire so sorry that this part is a little jumpy guys um, I will apologize for that because it <laughs> it probably gets a little crazy but on this side I did find something that was quite cool and it's connected it's actually connected up to this area so this ladder leads right up to um, this this ladder basically leads up to our top village which uh, which I've talked about before and then uh, when I was creating this this tunnel here I just had the the turtle go all the way down um, it went down all the way to the bedrock because I just wanted to do this one wide um, area and right down in here um, I found some pretty interesting stuff and granted I don't have any torches so let's make some torches real quick just so we don't run out of torches we don't want to run out of torches um, usually what I do when I'm making the videos I don't really keep the uh, mining portion on there but if you guys want to see some mining then uh, please let me know in the comments and I will uh, try to do some uh, mining and like an upcoming episode or something like that but um, right back in here and I'm gonna replace this piece of cobblestone real quick grab my sword just in case we run into any baddies but um, down here was a cavern and it seems to be a pretty pretty good cavern actually um, I believe there was a where was it I think it's over this way maybe um, yes right over here there's an abandoned mine shaft so I uh, might have to do some exploring of that later like I mentioned guys if you guys want to see uh, me doing some caving then please by all means let me know in the uh, comments and I'll be happy 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 to do that um, we're gonna right now get out of here because I don't want to get all lost <laughs> because usually with my videos I tend to get lost especially when I'm uh, caving and mining around because uh, I don't have the greatest sense of a direction when I'm below that's why I use my little uh, torch method keeping them on the right side when I'm entering an area so they're on the uh, left side when I'm walking out but uh, the these uh, can I grab my pickaxe please there we go pickaxe replace this piece of cobblestone and I have this up here because I did have some mobs trying to attack me and it's kind of funny uh, the creepers they'll do like that creeper head bob and the same with the skeletons and stuff they'll sit there and jump and try to shoot and it's uh, it's pretty humorous we just take them out <laughs> it's fun uh, so we're gonna cruise right back up to our area right here okay there we go and uh, basically yes this five this five wide hole pretty much uh, connected up to the cavern that this thing connects up to so uh, that is definitely a pretty cool I uh, think let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see in upcoming episodes um, we're gonna head back to the main base right now because I'm not sure what I'm going to do I might set up a turtle um, right over as you guys can kind of see I'll move over so the snow isn't kind of flying around but as you guys can see right up there in the uh, top left hand side I have red rock so that was another red rock area that I found I might set up turtles over there or something like that to do some more mining but uh, we'll see um, and it would be uh, it would be kind of cool to show you guys how I set this up because both the turtles are just using the same chest so that's probably what I'll do so hang tight guys we're gonna go back to the main base gonna figure out where I want to uh, journey to next here and then we'll probably set up some turtles so hang tight folks we'll be back hey again. guys we are back and now let's get on to uh, some of the uh, turtles so basically that started out we're going to uh, basically throw down our chunk loader to uh, get this thing started we're gonna move it down to just the uh, one for the one chunk as we show the lasers here move outside the radius and this is the uh, live basically the live area so to uh, reduce the lag we're just gonna hide the lasers and then we are gonna cruise down to our little mining area I was gonna do it over in the red rock area but I think I'll probably do that later um, because I'd have to light everything up and get everything set up so uh, with that in mind I'm just gonna do it right here um, because it's already protected it's already lit up all that other good stuff so uh, basically to start this out now one thing to note is you guys could use um, a ender chest per turtle so this blue ender chest is basically the same color code that we have hooked up 
at our main base. I don't need to show you guys that again. But the uh, the three blue color ender chests, what we have hooked up to our uh, sorting system pretty much, um, is the same color. So uh, kind of the what I'd like to show here is kind of the beh the behavior of the turtles. So um, you guys may be wondering why this was a little offset. Well, that's because when you throw down a turtle, and if the uh, server would quit lagging here, I'd be very much appreciated. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to place down a turtle right here. So the uh, turtle's pretty much facing this way. Now, the behavior of the turtles is they always go out and then they go to the right. So whatever um, command that you want to give these guys, that's the area it's going to clean out. So for this example, we're going to use a 3x3 three three area. And then before we get that thing started, I'm actually going to place down another turtle right on the opposite side here. So basically what that's going to do is I will still probably do, um, let's see, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 area. This side will be a 3 area. And once again, the behavior goes, they go out and then they go off to the right. And then that's how they carve everything out. Now, like I mentioned, you could use a separate ender chest for each turtle. But if you're mining in an area, to, I mean, you could have four turtles basically running at once if you'd like. So um, if you really wanted to, if you had two more turtles, I only have the two right now. But if you had a total of four turtles, you could have them all go into the same ender chest. Now, there is a particular thing about that is you want to be sure that the turtles are offset a little bit so if we were using a three by three we don't want the turtle program to start at the exact same time because what that means is when the turtles are going to unload then they will all meet up at the chest at the same time we don't want that to happen because that could clog up the system pretty much and it could actually spit out items so if you offset them a little bit um, either being um, you know starting one and waiting until that thing's out a little bit and then starting the next one then you're never gonna have to worry about the turtles kinda interfering with each other if that makes sense so for this one we're gonna go a three by three area for this one we're gonna go a four I think we can squeeze in a 4x4 four four area here, yeah. Yeah, that should work. So to start this one, we're just gonna type in excavate. And then we'll just type in three. Now the three, and it means that when you type, whatever number you type in there, that's the square radius that it's gonna go. Now from what I understand, turtles can actually do a 64 by 64 area. From what I understand, I'm not 100% positive about that because I haven't tried it. But um, usually I tend to do like a three, four, five, maybe six, somewhere in there because, and it, for, for sure the threes, because it's pretty rapid by the time they get down to bedrock and then head their way back up. It's a, it gives you a pretty decent idea of what's around and it's a pretty fast process. So we're just going to start this one off with the three by three area. So as you guys can see, the turtle went straight out and then it went off to the right hand side and now it will start digging so now that that things um, already started then we can start this other guy and the other turtle that we're gonna do here is we're gonna set this guy at ex excavate and we're just gonna do four which again means it's gonna do a four by four area so as soon as I hit enter here they're offset a little bit so they're not going to be returned to the chest at the same time so it went straight out then it goes off to the right and then it starts to dig so um, what this will do is the turtles will be moving at different speeds and then when their inventory gets full they're basically going to come up to this main ender chest and unload and then once they unload in the ender chest then that stuff's going to end up going into our sorting machine so i'm going to take a break in the video here and i'm going to keep an eye out on the turtle so when i do see the turtle starting to come back up again i'll probably cruise over to our main base because we do have the um the chunk loader in there and we are going to place down our world anchor just to be sure and there's still nine hours left on that just to be sure that the turtles will continue um, carving their way out um, even though we're not in um, the site of it pretty much so um, I'm going to take a quick break here guys and I'm going to let these turtles kind of gather and then we will uh, be back once they start unloading some of this stuff so hang tight folks we'll be back in a moment 
So guys, we are back and we got the uh, turtle on the right side on its way back up to the top. So as you guys can kind of see him uh, right about where the crosshairs are now, we're going to cruise over to the main base and hopefully we will catch this guy unloading everything. And we'll see how uh, this works out. So they sh the item should be entering the uh, chest pretty quick because we do have that world filter or the, the world anchor down. So there's a bunch of cobblestone getting sorted nicely. Um, into the barrels then everything else is uh, getting sorted in its specific areas so we have the uh, white things going down to the diamond chest we have the uh, blue the colored blue things going over to the other chest and we will first take a look in here so it looks like we got two silver ore and then it looks like the other turtle is up there now too so as I as I mentioned before guys um, when you offset the turtles it means that they're not gonna hit the uh, at the same time so uh, the chest should be cleared enough for those guys to both unload into the same chest of course you could do um, the chests you know d uh, uh, ender chest per turtle but uh, as you guys can see right here we got a wa we got some water shards we got some red zycorium blue zycorium flint green zycorium amber um, the aluminum ore was in there before and I think there was one cinna one or two cinnabars in there before as well So um, that's kind of the haul that they had now when we go back down to the mining area The turtles should either uh, be working or be completely done I'm guessing they're still working so they basically filled up what they did is they filled up their inventory and then they came back up they unloaded right in the ender chest that all went into the item sorter and as you guys can see the um, you can't really see it all that well but uh, the the turtle that's on the left hand side there um, it's only a three wide area right so it's only a, th a three by three area so it's going to be a heck of a lot faster than the four by four area because the uh, turtle that's on the right side has to do you know a, a little bit more on each, uh, one more row on each side basically um, so uh, it should be pretty quick, and uh, the reason that I do like using the 3x3, three three, like I mentioned, is because it is pretty fast, and you, it, you can get a pretty decent idea of the things that are around, sort of. Um, granted, eventually I'll probably do them uh, wider and that sort of thing, but for this scenario, I just wanted to kind of show you guys the differences that you can use, and the way that you can u just use one ender chest for a couple few turtles now granted you know we could have like i mentioned before we could have had all four turtles going but because i already had these other two areas done first um because i only had the two turtles um it, it makes sense but if you offset if you had turtles all the way around this ender chest and you just offset the speed a little bit and you're doing like three by three and you just let one go down one level then let another one go down another level and you just kind of sort it out that way then they can all use the same chest but of course you can always use a separate ender chest for each of the turtles if you'd like so this turtle is done um, it's either done yeah it's completely done so it's already taken the items and then went over to the sorting uh, area so this guy's completely done he's gone all the way down to bedrock and he's and he basically said all right my job's done here Time for me to leave. So now we'll just uh, fly down and hopefully not uh, touch that lava. But uh, this is pretty much the uh, area that he uncovered. So it, we got some lava. I'm guessing that's probably monazite or something like that. Uh, this is the previous area. Uh, ooh, that purple stuff. What's that purple stuff? Let's land right over here again. Um, so we got some blue sapphires. That's from before. Uh, and that sort of thing so it's it's definitely kind of cool and as you guys can see the other turtle should be right over on this side I believe yeah here's that other turtle and we basically don't want to get in its way and it's okay to have this center pillar all the way because if you do and actually want to have a ladder going down you could pretty much have a ladder going down on this uh, center pillar if you'd like to you don't have to but uh, that's kind of the idea behind it. So um, I'm going to grab some more glass here because I believe I have glass in my canvas bag. Okay, I got a little bit. Should be, nope, I'm going to be three short on this one. But I'm just going to place the glass right below the turtle because as I mentioned in the last video, I like having uh, blocks underneath the turtles when I try to um, basically take them, take them away here. 
So, oh, I should have checked to see how much, uh, how much space he mined, and we're going to have to fill this spot in with glass as well, just so we don't actually accidentally fall in there. <laughs> oh, no, we won't, because that's I did place a piece of glass down there. Okay, that's cool. So we'll have to make some more glass right here. Um, we'll, we'll let this other turtle keep going what it's, go what it's doing, and uh, we're going to cruise back to the main base here, guys. I'm going to close out the video, because I think it's been... I think it's been a little while. So yeah, that was monazite. Um, some quartz crystals look like it picked up this time around. And that was about it for the most part. A few more things. Um, don't know the exact numbers, but it was a few more things. So guys, uh, this is Pool Shark Wizard. Please let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see in upcoming uh, episodes. I'd really appreciate it. Eventually, we'll probably update this uh, little setup that we have here it works as a basic setup but i do want to have it uh, be a lot more productive so i'll probably do something with that eventually but guys i'm going to call this video good thank you guys so much for watching uh, please let leave a like leave a comment let me know what you guys thought if you guys have not subscribed already please subscribe and i will talk to you guys next time take care and bye-bye